Hello everyone, this is Garrett Zimmerman back here today, and today I'm going to be doing a attempted corkscrew tutorial. Well, this might seem like a good idea, it really is not, because corkscrews in this game just don't physically work. Um, the reason they don't work, you'll see pretty soon, but it's because you can't design a fluid segment or should I say a linear segment, it's just all pieced together. And a basic corkscrew on this game should require three pieces that can take four, but when you have that many pieces in a small area, it can lead to problems. It just gets really janky. It's not a fluid motion, and it just looks bad. And it overall doesn't form a great corkscrew. So I'm going to attempt... I've... I actually spent hours trying to figure out ways to do it good, but it just doesn't work. Um, I'll demonstrate later how a larger scale corkscrew looks nicer than a smaller one, but smaller ones will always look bad no matter what. There's just no way to get them perfect. So how you want to start is you want to have something like this, some kind of turnaround. You want to have a curve leading into it, and you want to kind of bank it at, uh, at an probably pitch of about 30 to 40 degrees. I'm a little high here, so I I actually readjust that a little bit. This might take a while. So I'm going to reform that curve a bit so I can just get a better angle going into it. Sometimes you run into the problem where if you angle a segment up too far, it will not let you bend the second segment that like the one that I just placed, it will not let you bend it. In this case, it does because I lowered the previous piece's pitch a little bit further down. So, as you can see, three-piece corkscrew, that's pretty much what you end up with. It looks awful, and there's, there, there isn't much you can do. I mean, it, it actually is the hardest thing you could build on this game. There is no... This is the ultimate challenge. If you can build a perfect corkscrew on here, you deserve the, you deserve respect. That's all I can say. Um, I'm just going to attempt to show you that basically your first piece should be banked about perfectly sideways, 90 degrees. A corkscrew should have three pieces, one that essentially... Turns you on your side, one that flips you upside down, and one that carries you all the way out through the, uh, basically lets you follow through the corkscrew. So overall, it, okay, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. So, a problem I notice is that the corkscrews, by the time, if, it, it just, the way the segments work, it, it never works, no matter what. It just, it's not physically possible, like I said earlier. Um, it does work better, however, when you make the first corkscrew and then make a second one. The first corkscrew is never good, but the second corkscrew, if you let that corkscrew follow through directly after the first one, it gives you a perfect entry for the second corkscrew, which makes it a little bit easier to design it. You'll notice that even on real coasters, that if there's two corkscrews back to back, like on an old arrow, the entrance to the first one is a little bit weird, but once you get going, that second one just f rolls through right smooth, because it's just the way they follow through. So that's just probably, this one's probably as good as it's gonna get, to be honest. It, it just doesn't get much better. It's gonna look bad, but... That's just the way it is. I'm going to build a second one after seeing what this one looks like on ride. They look okay off ride, but on ride they look absolutely garbage. It's just... So... Good entry, but... You know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It actually looks a bit worse than it really is. Um, I'll go for a second one here and see if it gets any better. Um... Curve that right. That looks a little odd. I guess that's fine. As you can see, um, after you get the first one, the second one's entry is a lot easier to deal with. It's a lot smoother. It's a little bit better, but... 
One time I actually spent two hours doing this. If you ever ever watched my um uh, Carolina Cyclone recreation, you'll know that um you've seen those corkscrews if you've watched it. They're not great, but those are the best corkscrews I've ever made. There's no question to that. I've never achieved better corkscrew design. So now that I have these two, let's do an on-ride POV and well, I'll show you what it's like if you build a really giant corkscrew. Because when you build a larger um, track segment, you can't tell as much between the track segments. It's a little bit more of a fluid motion. So, first cork, you can see every track piece, it twists and then stops, and then twists and then stops. So, I'm going to build just like a quick little demonstration of a little bit um, more fluid design. If you see any corkscrews on any of my rides, they'll only be on the larger rides. I don't do corkscrews in low speeds because they just look awful. So, I wish I could do them. I wish they could add a feature to the game like the auto loop um, that they added for Android, except the auto corkscrew. That would actually be a notable feature that would actually be useful because any noob that can't build a loop, I mean, come on. It's just four pieces. It ain't real hard to get a loop going for you. And it's never going to look bad as, a, as bad as a corkscrew. So I'm just going to bank this up and go down and probably corkscrew over that launch track. Make sure I get the entry good. So that's an awful entry, but it'll work for demonstration purposes. So... I'm just going to start by building a piece up about 15, whatever measurement that is in length. Um, make sure you get that angle right. Larger corkscrews are, once again, always better. They might not be as, uh, they're a little bit more zero-G roll-like, to be honest. I, I'm not even sure if you could consider it a corkscrew to be or 100% corkscrew. It's it's pretty much a corkscrew, but that's that's another topic for another day. Even with the large segments, it's still pretty janky. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed what I could try and attempt to do. Um, this is pretty much all I've got, and I'd like to see someone else attempt making a perfect corkscrew. I've never actually seen anyone try a corkscrew in a video about Ultimate Coaster. I know it is kind of an obscure game, but still, no one has done it, and I thought it would be time that somebody at least tried to show that you could. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next one.